to ask me what the best team in Australian sprint car racing is, I'd have to say that it is these guys, Cricky Motorsport. They've always had the best drivers, the best team. They've gotten the results. They've had World Series wins. They've won World Series titles, Australian sprint car titles, Grand Annual Sprint Car Classics, Cricky Boys shootouts. You name it, they've won it. And tonight we finally get to hang out with these guys. And the best part is that we're here in Perth. I've never been to Perth. I've never been to the motorplex obviously and honestly it looks incredible so can't wait for you guys to see this video i'm really looking forward to finding out how their dynamic with dane kingshot works uh, because of covid kerry madsen was in the car and he's no longer uh, not a, right now he's not driving it so they got dane kingshot developed with him over the last couple of years so it'll be interesting to see um, how they work together and um, obviously they've got a tough deal tonight they've got jason kendrick we have john goodyear in the monte car they've got uh, robbie Fars here ian madsen callum williamson there's so many good cars that i haven't even mentioned um, that are you know in contention for winning so uh, it should be a good night
just got that look about it. Like it might not be anything, but if someone cuts the lap through there before, which probably they're probably not gonna. But <laughs> just have a look. I don't know if you feel feeling confident, just cut one lap there, one lap on top. You know it's worked for you before, so. That end, but this end, like, it actually looks like a bit of a cushion there. I feel like if you carry it off a floor, though, it's too far around. Like, if you get, because it doesn't, like, I'm not wheel spinning getting off the floor. Like, you still, still in the track. If you can, like, keep the cushion a little bit off the corner and straight on it, but. You're a little tight to do that? No, it was good. I just missed it a little bit, though. I'm gonna fire it off. It's a lot different than how we usually qualify. Shit spot to start. team manager for Cricket Motorsport. <laughs> Probably more so just uh, kind of like logistics and just kind of working somewhere between Matt and Dane. Those two work really good together but I guess I just oversee the bills and 
Um, probably more the strategy going forward, you know, what we're going to be doing in a couple of weeks, where the motors are at, you know, all that sort of stuff. Just kind of making those sort of decisions, but uh, sort of on the night, just kind of a bit of an overseer, keep an eye on the points, just keep an eye on what the other cars are doing, who's kind of about where. Uh, yeah, just kind of in and around it. And yeah, obviously when COVID came along, like at the regu our regular driver was Kerry and we had a commitment to do the World Series the year after the, the, the COVID year or the year before COVID started. Uh, and then COVID came along, we didn't want to leave it in the shed or park it up. So we sort of, um, without being able to get Kerry in, <clears throat> and without really knowing where we we're going to go with Borders International and domestic, uh, we sort of wanted to keep it out there so we sort of had to make a decision and uh, try and come up with something that would do a really good job uh, for the team. I guess it started out as a one year kind of gap year type thing but uh, I knew Dane from way back from when he was a kid. His, his, his family's been around mine and our dealership for a long time. And I always said to Matt that I'd really, you know, as a bit of repaying the faith to Matt, I'd really like to put him and Dane together even if it was just for a night or two uh, at, one, at one point in time. and then. Uh, I thought he was a good option for us when when COVID came along to kind of keep us keep us out there and do a good job for us. Uh, you know, kind of keep the the, uh, the image of the team up. He's a really respectful guy, really good with fans, uh, does and says all the right things. So yeah, I thought he was a pretty easy and obvious choice. So uh, offered him the gig for that first year of COVID, and here we are, two and three quarter years in. Yeah, we're definitely going to do something with Dane going forward. You know, we definitely want to uh, want to retain that relationship. Um, he probably, not being a professional, he doesn't, uh, can't afford the time to go on the road, you know, with someone like Kerry. So, uh, going forward, uh, our plan and strategy is to kind of start the year off with him. We're kind of almost going to have kind of like two teams within the one, if you like. We're going to have kind of one corner of the shed will be Dane's gear and then the others will be Kerry's. And, uh, you know, all things going well, we'll start the year here with, with Kerry, uh, uh, with Dane, sorry. And then when Kerry comes, we'll, uh, you know, go on the road and do the, do the serious thing if that happens classic you know well, titles back here but uh, and uh, and then once Kerry's gone because he's, he's a pretty short window sort of end of December typically through to end of February so uh, you know it's really only a couple of months when once he's gone then we'll, we'll go back to Dane so you know we can race from uh, October through to April uh, with uh, with Dane and have Kerry in the middle in the middle section there yeah. I'm Matt and I'm a crew chief for Cricket Motorsport. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much at the at the workshop full time. So uh, yeah, start off by building the cars, um, prepping them ready to race. Uh, pretty much running everything uh, at the track, um, set up, uh, drive the truck. Um, yeah, so yeah, pretty much uh, yeah, pretty quite quite a bit of stuff. The the crew chief job actually just kind of uh, yeah, just kind of to felt uh, felt to me kind of you know when Dylan went to America and, and started working over there. Um, I was on the road for a couple of years with these guys as a tyre guy, so I've got always kind of, um, you know, kind of kind of been around, but um, yeah, just the opportunity to be a crew chief uh, wasn't there, and, and uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, when when Dylan decided to to um, take a job up in America, and um, I was kind of, you know, Ryan's like, oh, I need you to build the cars, and you know, and you know, then you can go back doing your carpentry and. And yeah, and then all of a sudden I've had to ha had to shut down my carpentry business, and now I'm a crew chief. So obviously we can't um, obviously have carry over and go over east and race World Series like we usually do. But um, that obviously gave us uh, the opportunity to to grab someone like Dane and, and race locally. So we're probably not. You know, I think this year we're only racing 20 races. We're usually we race 25, 27. So. You know, hasn't been all bad. So I've known Dane since we're about seven, eight years old and been uh, pretty much best mates with him uh, since he started uh, with the midgets. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where it all started for both of us is, is him racing the midgets. And uh, I think once it, once I uh, kind of uh, stopped helping him on the midget, uh, never really seen each other too much, just, just always, you know, a couple of times a, a week, like having a beer or whatever. But now that he's, he's racing for us, it's, you know, kind of back to how it was in the midget days, you know what I mean? It's, yep. And it's pretty cool to be able to race with your best mate.
was almost better than the top. Because who was on the pole? Bradford was Bradford, Bradford was second, and Kendrick was fourth, and and um, the guys on the bottom had way better start than what they two did. Lucky there was a bit of grip down the bottom tonight. Not normally, normally it's pretty slick just to a cushion, so that definitely helped us out. But you knew you had to go for it early. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I thought they were going to pull the start back, but I've been caught out before here, not racing hard enough because I think they're going to pull the start back. So I just went for it anyway. And yeah. I think on a track like that, you've got to get it done in the first lap there, otherwise there's not much going to happen. So yeah, we weren't, we weren't great once I got out in front. There it was a little bit tight, but um, yeah, once you're in clean air. I'm, something that fast out there it's just about trying to put clean laps together and get it to the end there's another car there and uh, i think three and four tried to squeeze you up for the lead at the, on the first lap there but you knew you had to stay in it and yeah like I, like I said if i if i sort of lifted there and let him through there's no chance you're going to turn underneath someone when they get to the dirt here at the moment so just sort of i could get to the dirt a bit quicker than him if i cover my line a bit and um yeah once i did that it was pretty well like i say just going to put laps together so. You'll talk with the guys about making changes. Have you got something in mind that you want already? It's just all about watching the track here at the moment. It changes that fast here lately, so yeah. we um we don't really know what we're up against until you know five minutes before we roll out. So we um I think we'll I, I can imagine we'll free up a little bit um, if it stays in like this. It may slow down though, so we'll just keep an eye on lap times and, mm -hmm. and go check it. You know, a couple of races before we're out and make some calls. Yeah. Exactly what you had to do. Uh, once yeah. you once you Fastest lap out of all the heat races. So. But yeah, you did look 
I didn't feel very right. tired. I didn't feel great. Like I felt pretty. Just not clean, you know. Like I get in on the hole and I'm tightening up, and then because I'm tight, you know, I'm lifting so fast, and I'm tight, and I'm free coming out of the fire. I don't know, we'll see what it's That we don't have. It'll probably slow down though. Like it's pretty slick. Yeah, like, it's getting the strains. The strains are hard to get to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's easy to get your thing off the left rear before the corner and it really unsettles yeah. it. Like you need to carry your, your wing speed and just go <laughs> ahead and get it. Yeah, some guys are pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're not like, if you're not struggling at the end of the straight, you're sort of just if you're in it, you're thinking right up, turn right on. Just change this bar out, leave the gear how it is, roll like that. Probably outside of heat, uh, out, outside of outside of dash one. Yeah, he's coming up here. I think our camera from the bottom is out before the start of the dash. Yeah. Actually, it looked like it, when I rolled around the bottom at the end of the dash, I was thinking coming back here. Did anyone run down there? Or, um, I wouldn't be surprised they had had that water standing on it. It's too fast on the top of the thing. Yeah, 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 if you're yeah, doing 13 yeah. sixes around the top, it's way too fast for the, for the bottom yet. But if it slows down oh, a little yeah, bit, it'll yeah. it off pretty good and then we had a yellow there halfway through it and uh, just got, got into sliding with Callum and got it in a hole and a bit of wheel stand nearly plugged yeah. in the wall so lost another spot there so a bit, bit disappointing but 
all right. Well, um, yeah, started P5 for the feature, and yeah, it's going to be pretty pretty tough to pass on this at the moment. So we'll just have to see how we end up. It's pretty brutal. I know like spring guy racing is all about momentum all the time, but here it seems like there's some pretty wicked slide jobs. And it, I noticed, uh, I think it was coming down the back straight into turn three, you had already used it, you slid. <laughs> oh no, you got back under Callum uh, yeah. out of turn two, and then you you kind of slid yourself. Yeah. Um, those are the sort of things that you've got to think about, even though you don't know where yeah, they're Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the thing is here, if you, can, if you get by someone, Normally they're going to carry the momentum because you've had to make the pass, so they're probably going to carry speed into the next corner. So I went to slide myself, I didn't quite slide myself enough, and he he sort of snuck in underneath me. And if you can do that, you're, you're pretty well stuffed on the outside. So that's when yeah I got the right rear in the dirt, stood her up. But yeah, it's just one of those things. It's um it's a bit of a chess game at this place, especially when it's like this. So yeah, you got to you got to really, you know, make a move and then cover yourself for enough laps that you think you're clear and obviously you're losing speed doing that, so it's just it's all a bit of a, a bit of a chess game. But yeah, it's um a bit of a like I say, a bit of a disappointing dash, but it's what it is, you know, it's um What's the plan for the, the feature? Do you feel like it does it end up opening up where you can kind of move around or not really, just stay around the top? Hard because it's rough at the moment, you know, so even if it even if it slickens off, it's gonna be slick with heavy holes in it, so um, we may have to run around the holes, but I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's going away. It almost looks like the bottom can come in as well, so. Yeah. Uh, but like I say, it's, a, it's just a bit of a suck it and see here. We've got a, you know, there's a couple of races before us and big wheel cars, and they may they may wear it out, they may make the holes bigger, so we'll just have to, literally, we'll be waiting until about five minutes before we roll out to make a call. which Dane won his, his heat race. Uh, we had the A dash, so they've got an A dash and a B dash. It's not a dash for the A main, a dash for the B main. What it is is basically inside row and outside row. Uh, Dane was leading early on in the A dash, so if he had a one now, he would have started uh, from pole for the feature. But he ended up falling back to third after a battle, a uh, really good battle with, with Callum Williamson. Uh, so he finished third, so he's out of five. Uh, and uh, yeah, so he's in with the shot, but right now the track is so fast around the top and a little bit choppy that uh, you really kind of need someone to make a mistake. Um, it's going to be interesting to see a long feature race to see if they get caught in traffic and, and how guys move around. Sprint car racing is always about momentum and, and keeping your momentum up all the time. So you're seeing some pretty killer slide jobs out there right now. Um, and with the cushion being a little bit choppy, uh, and unsettling the cars a bit, they're actually uh, you know moving around a fair bit, and, and it's mixing up the order a bit. So, um, going to be a really exciting feature race. The guys are making some changes right now. They're sorting out their tyres and chatting about what they're going to do. So, yeah, stick around.
the night here at uh, the Perth Motorplex. Honestly, it's uh, pretty overwhelming. Such an awesome night to work with uh, the Kriggy team, meet everyone, meet the team, meet the family, meet Dane and just kind of follow around and see uh, how they go about their racing. They ran fourth. I really think it was a, and they do too, is a, probably a second place car, but that's racing. It didn't quite work out. Um, but just so cool to come here at the Perth Motorplex. Everything so good to travel around Australia. I probably need to do a video on rating my favorite tracks and, and what I like and dislike about them, but 
this place, I mean Sydney's brand new, it's a brand new facility that just opened but this place is 20 years old and it's definitely number one, like the facility is absolutely incredible, there's, I love it, you know, it feels like a, you're driving into Disneyland, that's how they've gone about it, um, but yeah, just all around great night, great racing, this place is way more banked than I thought it was, um, you know, a lot of surprises, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and see you next time.